A couple of days ago, Instacart sent out an email to all of its shoppers. And in this email, Instacart let shoppers know that it would be making some app updates. Essentially, they were bringing back batch priority. So veteran shoppers with higher reviews, with more reviews that were better, would be getting the best batches first, or at least getting access to batches before shoppers that had lower reviews. Now, a lot of shoppers welcomed this email. It looks like they're reverting back to a system that generally seemed to work before the pandemic. But unfortunately, this is not as good of news as it may seem. And in this video, I'm going to explain why. I'm going to explain why it's going to be a while before shoppers are actually seeing better batches. But in order to understand why this is not good news, we have to first look at why Instacart got rid of the system in the first place. So when COVID-19 first struck and we first started feeling it here in the US a few months back, Instacart had a huge new demand on the customer side. Customers that had never used the platform before were coming on and placing big orders. Instacart just could not keep up with this. And because they couldn't handle this demand, there were orders, there were batches that were sitting out there for hours, for days, for as long as a week before customers would actually get them filled and a shopper would pick it up. And what this meant is that even if a shopper picked up a batch and did a perfect job, got every single item right, got it in time, got it quickly, they could still be getting that batch a week late. So the customer would see this and give that shopper a bad review. So Instacart decided to go ahead and get rid of the review system and just make it a free for all. And it was really the only way to do things, at least in Instacart's mindset. And while this may have not been the best solution for the problem, it's the one that Instacart went with. And on top of that, they also decided to hire a ton of new shoppers. Upwards of 500,000 shoppers, some people have estimated. And so now Instacart has decided to go back to that priority batch system. But why are they doing this? Well, it looks like they're going back to the system because demand has leveled off. It's back to where it was pre-pandemic. That means there just aren't as many orders on the Instacart system. So in theory, now shoppers that have better ratings should be seeing more orders, but there's fewer orders overall. And that's combined with the fact that Instacart was forgiving bad reviews during the pandemic. So essentially all shoppers have a perfect five-star rating right now. It's gonna take a couple of weeks for these ratings to balance out and for the good shoppers to rise to the top. But during this time frame, we're actually still seeing less orders, less batches overall because of that decreased demand. So while it looks like Instacart's making a good move by reverting back to this system, what they're actually telling us is that we're no longer seeing as much demand on the app, but they've also hired way too many shoppers and all shoppers have the same ratings at the moment. So it's going to be a rough couple of weeks here. It's gonna be a couple of weeks where there's not a ton of batches available in a lot of cities and it becomes very tough to get batches. Now, eventually this will balance out. A lot of new shoppers that were hired on are going to quit when they're not seeing batches, leaving just the veteran shoppers and the ones that really want to be on this platform. But I don't think that we can expect to see demand that we saw during COVID-19 to really come back. I mean, hopefully some customers that joined onto the Instacart platform are going to stick around, going to continue to use a grocery delivery service, but the fact remains that this is very expensive. It's just not cheap to order groceries through the Instacart platform. So unless it's a matter of life and death, which it essentially was for the last couple of months, there was a perception that going to the grocery store was a high risk environment, you could get sick and you could die. So Instacart customers were willing to pay a premium for that service. But that demand and that desire to pay that premium has disappeared and gone back to pre-COVID-19 levels. Not to mention that we're also going to be seeing less demand out there because there's a lot of unemployed people. So while people have been getting stimulus, they have been getting pandemic unemployment and unemployment benefits, as that stimulus wears off, there's just less money to go around and less money to spend on premium services like Instacart. Now, this doesn't mean that Instacart's going to disappear completely, going to vanish. People are going to abandon the platform entirely. It's going to take some time for shoppers' reviews to balance out, for those bad shoppers to start getting more bad reviews that aren't forgiven, and for the good shoppers to remain getting those priority batches on the platform. In the meantime, it will be rough. So I definitely recommend multi-apping. I recommend checking out the other platforms that I've recommended, including food delivery, including Shipt, 
and also looking at other opportunities. In the gig economy, a lot of things can change very quickly. We saw a massive spike in the service and now it looks like it's leveling off and it's really dropped. And it was really unfortunate uh, how this whole thing took place because Instacart shoppers that were loyal to the system couldn't really capitalize on it because there was such a big spike that Instacart hired on so many shoppers. They changed the policy of priority batches, which made it easy for bots to manipulate the system. And we couldn't really capitalize on this spike as much as we would have liked to. Now that we're back to normal, it's gonna take a while to even get back to that pre-pandemic era where things are really balanced, where there's a decent number of batches on there, where we're not oversaturated with shoppers. And it's really an unfortunate situation. So let me know how things look where you are if you like the app updates, I do think that it is potentially a step in the right direction, but I, I don't think that features like this heat map are really a game changer. I mean, driving further away to get batches isn't necessarily a good business move. And all it means to me is that Instacart's using distance as well as reviews in this metric to decide who's getting batches. And that means that people who are closer to stores, shoppers that are the closest, are also gonna be seeing batches faster which means that you have to spend more time waiting around, which I'm never really a fan of. So I always recommend using a multi-apping strategy, having other apps available so that you can be doing stuff, not just sitting in a parking lot because you wanna be working, you wanna be generating income for yourself and for your business. If you found this video useful, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for all of the latest gig economy updates.